Hey, what's up, YouTubers? Lee John Blackmore here at Super Easy Guitar. So this week I've put together a brand new series covering just the blues. I've had so many requests from you guys about songs, riffs, and theory. So I thought I'd try and compact them into a few videos over the next few weeks and hopefully you'll learn some new and old concepts. So this week I'm going to cover the 8 bar blues and the 12 bar blues. I've had lots of questions and there's a little bit of confusion. So hopefully I've put together two old school songs that kind of utilize the 12 bar blues and the 8 bar blues. They're really cool to play. You can use them in any single key and you can solo over the top of them until your heart's content. Okay, let's zoom in and get straight into it. So let's start off with what I was doing in the intro. It's pretty much Rock Me Baby, okay? So, which is an old blues classic. So I'm starting off doing this kind of classic blues lick just in a C minor seven. And, you know, I'm using my thumb here. You don't have to use your thumb bar down. It's just become a habit of mine to play the C7 there, okay? And I'm just playing the little lick there. Bottom E. I'm going into the major, right? So it's the minor, minor pentatonic. 10 on the G string, down to 8, hammer on to 9, 10 on the D. Put a little bit of vibrato. And it's, it's cool if you hit two strings. That sounds cool as well. And I'm doing a little mute on the end there. So this is an F9. G9. Back down to F9. Back to the C minor 7. So you don't actually have to do all this. You don't have to do all that business yet. I'm just using the blue scale. Pentatonic. You can just stay on the chord. Down, up, 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 down. 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 Up, 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 down. Down, up, 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 down. Up, 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 down. Turn around. So there we've got a 12 bar. Now, if you don't really understand what bars are it's just a way of counting music so if i do that same thing and count it you'll see where the 12 bar blues comes from okay one two three four two two three four three two three four four two three four five two three four six two three four seven two three four eight two Nine, two, three, four, ten, two, three, four, eleven, two, three, four, twelve, two, three, four. So the, obviously there's four beats in a bar and it goes round 12 bars. And when it's finished that round, it starts again. OK, so 12 bar blues isn't restricted to just certain chords. OK, so it's just the, the time frame you play that progression in. So if I did a straightforward blue shuffle, you could play a 12 bar like this. Ready? So, one, two, three, four, two, two, three, four, three, two, three, four, four, two, three, four, five, two, three, four, six, two, three, four, seven, two, three, four, eight, two, three, four, nine, two, three, four, ten, two, three, four, eleven, two, three, four, twelve, two, three, and starts again. And so on, right? And you hear that over and over and over. So, you know, 
I was just playing straightforward E, A, and the B turn around. You could do, you know, shuffle there if you want. Add to it with all different kind of stuff there. And don't forget, you know, if the if you've got a friend that plays guitar, get your friend to lay down the shuffle, or if you've got a loop pedal. And you can solo over the top and it's really good fun. So that's the 12 bar blues, but you might have heard of the 8 bar blues. So 8 bar blues would be um, a song off the top of my mind, would be like a standard uh, Key to the Highway, okay, which is a really old blues song, which has been covered by many, many people. And that would be something like... It would start in a C7, and then it would go to a G7, and then an F7, sorry, and then... So before I count it through, I'll just show you how it goes, all right? So C7, G7, F7, and again C7. G7, so there's a little turnaround that changes at the end there, okay? So if I count it as I'm playing it, you'll hear where the eight bars come in. So one, two, three, four, two, two, three, four, three, two, three, four, four, two, three, four, five, two, three, four, six, two, three, four, seven, eight. So in the last two bars, the seven, I play two chords, so I go one, two, three, four, and then one, two, three, four, and the whole thing starts again. Now, you don't have to play them like that, they're just the chords to the uh, key to the highway. Um, in fact, I play it a little bit differently anyway. I use sevens and nines, okay? So the seven minor seven chord and and like the ninth chord that we're used to we used to seeing in blues, right? So I'll go like this. One, two, three, four, two, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, two, two, three. And one, two, three, four, two, two, three, four. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. And that's pretty cool. C minor seven, G nine. F9, back to the C minor 7. So you can play it in any key. So key to the highway, the, its original key was in A, I think. So you could play A7, E7, D7 with an F sharp in the bass, and A7, E7, A7, D7, a7, E. Let's do that again. So. And then the whole thing would start again. Okay. So let me count that through for you so you understand why it's an eight bar. One, two, three, four, two, two, three, four, three, two, three, four, four, two, three, four, five, two, three, four, six, two, three, four, seven, and eight. So the last two bars, there's two chords to a bar, basically. So let me count it through for you slowly. So here we go. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, one, two. 
One, two, one, two. So you can hang the last chord for two if you like. So there you have it guys, hope you enjoyed this week's lesson. Please don't forget, hit that subscribe button if you'd like to receive my weekly updates. I don't get paid for these lessons guys, so if you'd like to support me over here on my channel, I've set up a PayPal donation button, or you can purchase some of my merch on the link below. Any support will be muchly appreciated guys, okay? And don't forget, if you do send me a donation, please send me a little message so I can thank you and get back to you, okay? There's some links to Spotify, I've done a playlist over there, and Instagram if you'd like to follow my updates over there. I'll see you again the same time next week. Enjoy.